All right, so we are back again today for another exciting session of zombie training. This time I've got the girls out in their very intimidating Barbie Jeep. I have three girls of zombie fighting age and only two seats in the Jeep. So one child was left behind with a crossbow. Life is tough, have to make hard decisions in the zombie apocalypse. So if this goes correctly, they're supposed to come flying around this building at full speed and shoot at me. Uh, chances of that working are about 0%. Uh, the darts will probably fall out beforehand. Let's see, I can hear them slowly making their way around here. Arachnid man, I expected nothing less. Here it comes. Ah, I'm coming right for you. Ah, ah. Shoot. You gotta push the dart in. You gotta push the dart in. It's okay. They have a bunch of fallback guns in there. Switch to the guns and back. All right, so they... She was, she was very confident for the first shot and then quickly, quickly panicked. See, there's a lot, of, a lot of pressure in these situations. In the meantime, the little one offered no help whatsoever. Are you going to shoot? Are you going to shoot? Yeah, you're just going to hang out. Okay, you're going to be on the zombie side. That's okay. All right, there's one in the grass. I, as you can see, I definitely need to mow. My yard's over there. But the, uh, we're going to wait till tomorrow, and then I'll go through and shop up all these darts, and it'll be wonderful. Lots of tears and crying. All right, we're coming around for a second attack here. I can hear them coming. All right, get ready to shoot. Ah! Ah! Uh, here, use the guns behind you. There's more guns. Daddy! Uh, she can't really drive. Uh, <laughs> you will not make a swift escape. I'm working on that that zombie book only. Ah! I'll just shoot at least one. All right, shoot one. Ah! Zombies won't shriek like that. Zombies don't have girly shrieks. You gonna shoot me from behind? Give me a pincer move. Ah, kill, clear the road. Shoot me off it. Ah, oh, you killed the zombie. Now drive, drive. Ah! Ah! Come on. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna post up here, huh? Is this where you make your stand? Ah! Ah! There you go. You got it back. Ah! Good shot. Good shot. There you go. That's the teamwork. One drives, one shoots. You're going to lose that gun off the back. Almost. So I'm working on that uh, that zombie book, only dead on the inside. And these are, we this, if this were a proper zombie survival scenario, they would be in a minivan, the greatest of all survival vehicles. But I guess a, a Jeep will have to do for today. Can't all be perfect. And they seem to have stopped on the other side. It's hard to keep them focused for a full lap around this building, but we'll see. They'll come at the moment we least expect them. You going to get involved here one of these days? You're going to shoot that? There you go. That's good shooting form. Going to do an overhead shot. Yeah, I think you're... Let me pull this back here for you. There you go. Give it a shot. You going to get me? Ah! Oh no! Ah! Oh, good shot! <laughs> You're empty. Here, we'll swing, swing around and grab a bag of darts the next time. <laughs> They're out of ammunition. This is where it really gets desperate. This is a, a real apocalypse scenario. No ammunition. A vehicle on limited fuel. How will it last? She's over there, resourcefully scrounging up their bullets for herself. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. They left her behind, now she has bullets and they don't. Grab a bag, grab one of the bags. Okay. Go, 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 go! There we got hundred of them. Okay, go, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh no, we'll cover her, cover her while she gets in the Jeep. There you go, post up. Oh no! Shoot! Oh, you killed all the zombies. I'll run again. This camera's probably shakier than usual as I dodge up and down here looking for darts in our very much too tall grass. How's the loading going over there? You about ready to shoot? Not quite. Exactly. This is, if you're not teaching your kids to kill fictional monsters, what's the point? Although this book is technically classified as nonfiction, because apparently, according to the literary world, zombies are real. Which is good. At least somebody finally admits it. What are you doing over here? Where's your gun? Hmm? Every two-year-old should have a gun. Or crossbow. Whatever you're, you're rocking today. 
All right, so the children have disappeared again, probably loading their nine guns that they have in their car. So we'll see, we may have to wait a moment here for their final attack. Don't, uh, don't knock over those bushes, kid. I spent a lot of time planting those. They're just tiny sticks. This is what I filled my entire car with mulch for. Put 50 bags of mulch in the minivan. They're supposed to go by, we use fake names, you know, so they don't get murdered. They're supposed to be Betsy and May, but they've been screaming all kinds of names as they drive because it's hard to get them to remember lies. Your deception could use work. They're bad spies, aren't they? You want to ride in there? Well, you have to throw one of the kids out. You have to fight them for the vehicle. Uh-oh, I hear... What's that? It's on hand. It's on your hand? What's on your hand? I don't see anything. Do you have a zombie bite? Do we need to cut it off? You need to cut it off? Uh-oh. We better do it quick. We don't want you to become a zombie. They are all wearing matching dresses as well. That's my wife's work. We actually have, they were matching dresses, all four of them today. So the baby, through hand-me-downs, will be wearing the same dress probably until she's 30. You want to ride in the Jeep? I will see. You want to fight? Well, go get your gun. You dropped your gun. You can't fight zombies without a gun. Go, 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 go. Get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. There we go. You don't have any bullets. You got to load it. Can't kill zombies with air. Or maybe you can. Maybe she knows something I don't. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> she picks the sunniest spot to sit in. How'd she get a sunburn? Powering with a crossbow. Is there a better way? I don't know. Let's see here if anybody's coming around the corner. I hear them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here they come. Let's see, I'm going to jump out of them. There's going to be a lot of shrieking here real quick. Bear with me here. Ready? Almost. 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 Get ready. <laughs> shoot, shoot. Alright, shoot me as you go by. Alright. Here, let's let's practice vehicle combat. Try ramming me. I'll dodge out of the way. I have super cat like reflexes. Means you drive over me. Try to run over the zombie. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Faster than it looks like. All right, drive around for another loop. Load up on your gun. Hold on, Daddy. You need a break from all that excitement. Yeah. All right, maybe that's a good stopping point. We have, I think, thoroughly covered all the bases. So early next year, Only Dead on the Inside comes out with all of these and more tips to thoroughly survive the zombie apocalypse and get screamed at often by small children. Daddy. Should be a good time.